I hope you're well. Today I thought I'd do a video that I have never done before. I actually think I Snapchatted um, about doing this and a few of you replied saying that you'd love to see it. So here goes and this is my Lush unboxing video. Um, oh, let me put these books somewhere. <laughs> So basically I got sent this massive box of Lush goodies and I actually just love the box itself. Like if they just sent me the box itself, I'd have still loved it. And it is full to the brim of Lush pieces. And I haven't actually even looked inside of it properly yet. So I'm really excited to kind of get my mitts on what's inside and I'm gonna show you guys what's inside as well. These are all new products. Um, I think it's to kind of promote the fact that Lush has been around for 20 years, which is bizarre. Like it doesn't feel that long at all. But yes, these are all kind of new products and I'm just literally gonna pick them out randomly and show you guys. So the first thing that, this intrigued me as soon as I saw the name and it's the Salted Coconut Hand Scrub. This creamy coconut and sea salt scrub is the perfect way to keep your hands in tip top tea condition. Tip top condition. And it smells amazing. I love coconut. Um, if you're not, if you're someone that doesn't like coconut, I know there are a few people out there, then you probably won't like this. Um, but I absolutely love coconut, so I can't wait to use this. So you basically apply a generous scoop to wet hands and scrub all over. Um, and I can imagine this is really good before you put fake tan on because if like me you get kind of dry knuckles in the winter and then you put dry sh um, dry shampoo <laughs> if like me you get kind of dry knuckles in the winter and then you apply fake tan and it sticks to them put pieces then it's probably a really good thing to put on just before you fake tan and um, I always use kind of body scrub on my hands and hand cream but actually having a hand scrub is probably quite a good idea um, Oh, it smells so good. So yes, yeah, so that's quite a cute little product. Next up we have this, which actually doesn't say what it is. It's just in a silver tin. Um, oh, I don't know what that is. What is this then? It's got no sticker on. We'll come back to that one because I'm not too sure what it is. So this one is called Cup of Coffee and this is a face and body mask. Oh, coffee. Oh, I'm excited to smell this. And this is a let's have another cup of coffee. Wake up your skin with this exfoliating mask, leaving it smooth and soft. Oh, this sounds good. Um, take a shot to the face and st with stimulating caffeine and exfoliating coffee grounds. Let's smell this, guys. I'm excited. What is this going to... Oh, my God. It is so dark. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh, my God. That smells so good. This smells amazing. If you like coffee, then you need to try this. <laughs> That's all I've got to say on the matter. That's all I've got to say about this one. Next up is these really weird things. Now I did notice these earlier and these are called Oral Pleasures <laughs> and they're tantric toothy tabs. Um, so basically you nibble one and then between the teeth and then you start brushing. So I'm assuming that these are like, like toothpaste but in solid form. They kind of smell like cherry though. They kind of, they kind of smell like sweets. I'm going to try one even though I'm not brushing my teeth right now. I'm a bit scared. It is definitely to eat, isn't it? Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> it tastes a bit like soap. I think you need to be brushing your teeth when you use them. I don't know if I like those. Maybe I'll try one when I'm brushing my teeth. Uh, I have this lay cake soap. Um, I'm gonna open this up because I haven't opened any of these yet so I can smell it properly. This is pretty. It's like a double layer, so it's got like pink um, through to black through to purple. Um, it doesn't have such a strong smell actually as some of their soaps. It's quite subtle. I'd say it's quite a floral smell, but not too much. It's not too strong, which I actually quite like. I don't like a really strong smelling soap, so I'm excited to use that. Then I have another soap here, which is called the Rough with the Smooth Body Scrub. So this is a, a solid body, body scrub, which is quite exciting. Let's give this a little open. I'm sorry if I'm not explaining this enough, but these are all new to me as well, so um, let's open this. Oh, okay. So this is like, oh, it's melting. This is like this kind of shape, if you can see it. That smells so nice. It's gingery, I'd say. And it smells like soap. Basically that really nice soap smell. I don't know how to explain soap, guys. I'm really sorry, but definitely one to like, again, if you don't like too strong of smells, it's quite subtle, which 
I like Pemis Power Foot Scrub. I'm quite excited because I've never had a foot scrub before. Oh, again, quite a subtle smell. Kind of smells like um, like a spa kind of smell, which is nice. Lightly fragrance with zesty orange oil, which I never would have thought. It's actually vegan as well, which is cool for you vegans out there. Um, so you basically break it will break down that tough skin on your feet and leave your feet lightly fragranced. Next up we have the Experimenter, which is in here, and this is a bath bomb, which is my favourite Lush products ever. I absolutely love getting into a bath with a bath bomb in it. It's just amazing. Sometimes I kind of get a hammer to them as well and break them up into little bits so that I can make them last a little bit longer. Um, I don't know if that's just me. This one has popping candy in it and comforting fair trade vanilla. Popping candy, oh my god. My bath is going to be popping. Oh my god, it's gone everywhere. Okay. Oh, that's so nice. I don't want to show it too much because it's like the powder's going everywhere, but it's really colourful, like layers of colour basically. Oh, guys, that is so nice. It's not too strong as well, which I really like. It's kind of like musky vanilla. Um, I'm not really big on vanilla scents, but that is definitely one that I can take. So I really like that. Then we have um, this little lolly stick thing, which is a called Kinky Hot Oil Treatment. Hydrate curly locks with this softening jasmine and vervet treatment. Oh, so what do you do with this? So you basically put this in hot water and make a creamy substance and then you leave it on your hair, which is dry, so you want to put this on dry hair for 20 minutes before you shampoo and conditioner. So for me, I would use this just before I'm going in the bath. So 20 minutes before I'm going in the bath, I would put this on my hair, leave it up in a clip, just get it, get it out of the way, and then you can wash it off in the bath with your shampoo and conditioner. I really like this idea, and actually it's a really kind of cute little present for someone as well. And last in my Lush haul, I have got the one thing I've been excited about the most, because I saw this in the box earlier and I was like, yes. And this is the Pink Flamingo Bubble Bath. So I'm going to open this up. Now I actually saw these on the in the Oxford Street store recently, and they were like everywhere, plotted around the shop, and... I don't know, they're just so cute looking. I hope mine hasn't broken. So, okay. I think mine's gone a bit wrong. <laughs> it doesn't look like a flamingo. <laughs> I think mine's got like two heads or a mask. <laughs> but yeah, mine doesn't look like a flamingo. But I'd say this probably would last you like four baths maybe, if not more. It depends how many bubbles you like in them. So these are really, really good. It smells kind of floral, but soapy. <laughs> a little bit musky. And maybe like a bit fruity, so maybe there's a bit of orange in there. Yeah, that's how I describe the flamingo. I can't, I don't know how to explain it any other, any other way, to be honest. I'm not very good at smell. I don't even know why I'm doing a Lush unboxing. How can I do a Lush unboxing when I can't describe the smells? But anyway, you guys, you just want to see what's in here, don't you? I know, I know you just want to see what's in the box. So guys, that was my Lush unboxing. I hope it wasn't too hickledy pickledy for you. It's the first time I've ever done a Lush unboxing before and I'm still learning about the products and stuff. So hopefully it was some kind of insight to the new products from the range and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. And if I go to Lush anytime soon, I will make it on my list to do a haul and I will remember what the products are and what the smells are this time. Thanks for watching as always. Don't forget you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. All my names on those channels are Tiny Twist. I also have a fashion blog which is there and that's actually been redesigned recently so I'd love for you to go and check that out. I'll leave the link to that here and that is tinytwist.com and um, yeah, thanks for watching as always and I will see you again soon for another video. Bye guys, thank you. Mwah.